Needham Boys Basketball was forced to regroup last week after being handed their first loss of the season by Tech Boston in a game that saw a double-digit lead slip away from the Rockets. It was back to conference play after the non-conference matchup with the Bears. Needham went on the road to defeat a pesky Weymouth team before hosting Braintree on Friday, January 11th. For that, we jump now to the highlights. Rockets erupt out of the gate, led by senior Kyle Sullivan. Knocks down a three-pointer from the wing. Braintree struggling with shots early here. The miss from distance is rebounded by Needham. Will Dorian makes a slick bounce pass to Mount Smith. Matt Smith, and he goes up for two. From defensive rebounding to offensive rebounding, Sullivan makes the second chance count here. Hits a tray from straight away. That's another three points for the Rockets. Then the defense picks up a steal. Dorian is going to pass a hit here to Sullivan. He just has to lay it up and in. How about one more three ball from Sullivan? Rockets score the game's first 16 points, 11 coming from Sullivan. And Needham leads 18 to 2 after one quarter. Offense still flowing in the second. Johar Sign spins off his defender before banking a shot off the glass. Later, Rockets swing the ball around to Phil Nikolaev. Uh, pumps step up and swishes the jumper. Rockets with a comfortable 32-8 halftime lead. Now we're jumping to the fourth quarter. Needle's still up by over 20 points, but Braintree is going to try to claw back. Freshman, freshman Amari Howell goes coast to coast, finishing with a nice spin move here. Later, the loose ball is scooped up by the Womps. John Tellier tosses in a floater. Rockets League is cut down to 10. However, they finish it off on a press break. Kyle Sullivan again up the sideline, dish over to Jacob Hammermesh for an easy layup. Final score will be 47-39, probably a lot closer than the game really was for most of it, but the dominant first half showing of the Rockets proves to be enough. The win pushes them to 6-1 on the season, and they now stand at 6-2 after being dealt a tight loss by Wellesley. Now we're going to move over to girls basketball. Head coach Amanda Sheehy and her squad faced back-to-back -to -back top 20 opponents in Braintree and Wellesley. Needham dropped the contest to Braintree on the road, but needed to quickly refocus their battle with the Raiders on Tuesday, January 15th. Of course, the Rockets were happy to be back on their home court for just the second time all season. To more highlights, we go. First quarter, both teams trading shots. Maeve Barker curls and drains. Uh, step back three-pointer. Lady later, Lily Wood Woodring picks off a pass for Wellesley. Up ahead to Molly Cronin. Goes high for two points. Then Woodring sends another long outlet pass. This one to Allison, Allison Goringer, who tosses in the layup. Back to Cronin. She uses a pick and roll with Bella Kogan, able to finish through contact. Now we're going to be under two minutes. Needham on the attack, Kiari McIntyre drives and squeezes her way to the hoop. Now in transition, Mariana Jansen pass back to freshman Lucy Doran with the three ball, nothing but net. The teams end up tied at 10 after the quarter. Raiders score the first basket in the second, but Needham scores the final eight, including a three-pointer by McIntyre. On defense, Barker picks up a steal, McIntyre falls up the shot, shot quickly puts it up and in. Rockets lead at halftime 18 to 12. Early now in the third quarter, Go Ringer finds Woodring from distance. That makes it a one point game. Baker's gonna answer though on the other end with a three ball of her own. Rockets D is gonna continue to clamp down. Jansen steal and pass to McIntyre. She size depths the defender and scoops it right in. How about again? This time, Junior takes it herself, finishes through traffic, up and in. Final minutes of the quarter, Jensen swing pass to Caroline Clem. She nails the corner three. That's 10 straight points for Needham on 11-2 run to end the quarter. Midway through the fourth, McIntyre keeps the ball inbounds. Jensen keys it down the court to Clem. Put two more on the board there. Back to McIntyre after that. She crosses over and splits the defense. Count this one and a one after that. To close it out, McIntyre is going to be immediately up the floor, off this rebound, pass to Clem, banks in the bucket. And that would be that. Rockets hand the Raiders their first conference loss 
39 to 29. Kiari McIntyre finishes with a game high 19 points, and the defense holds the Bay State's leading scorer, Brooke Guifre, without a point. Needham now stands at 5 and 3. Sticking with hoops, the girls and boys will play a doubleheader on Saturday, January 19th. The games have special importance because the athletic department will also unveil a new 1,000-point banner in the gym. There are six former players who have reached the milestone in their careers, and they will be in attendance. The ceremony will take place at halftime of the boys' game. 